Four years ago, fire ravaged almost two thirds of Kangaroo Island. You would remember the scenes as the fires impacted lives, people were killed, properties were lost, and the impact on wildlife was catastrophic. In Flinders Chase National Park in the western end of the island, the visitor center at Rocky River was completely destroyed. And at that time, as South Australia's Environment Minister, I made a decision to move the visitor centre to become a gateway to the West End. And that's what's behind me today, rising out of the ground, the new visitor centre. A $20 million project, something that I'm so proud that under the previous Liberal government we were able to secure. This used to be uh, an old tourist park uh, and it was destroyed in the fire. The Department for Environment was able to buy it and by piecing together funding we've been able to get what's now happening here. A brand new visitor centre, a gateway to the West End, to the many famous sites down here. Admiral's Arch, Remarkable Rocks, Kelly Hill Caves and so many other great attractions. This visitor centre is hugely sustainable, built from rammed earth with sustainably sourced Australian timbers. It will be a draw card to this part of the island. I think it's going to be of global significance. It's a research centre as well as a visitor centre. There'll be a cafe, there'll be a gift shop, there's accommodation for rangers. It's going to be a welcoming place and it's going to tell the story of Kangaroo Island. It's going to tell the story of Kangaroo Island's wildlife, its parks and of course the fires which impacted this island so terribly. In the coming months the new visitor centre will open and I look forward to seeing people come here to learn about nature and then travel further down the road to the National Park and immerse themselves in the natural world. It's going to be great.